one and all, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, all the different people of Earth and beyond, friends, family, allies, and animals, to the mysterious world under our feet of Beth the Bunny and her fabulous friends. Welcome to the transmissions of Rabbit Ears. Rabbit ears. As always, I am your host, Beth the Bunny, and with me now are Mr. Mr. Blaze. That's Harry. me. Hey, Magic, how are you doing? Hi. Hi, Beth the Bunny, how are you doing? I'm good, how are this, you? I'm okay, this is the new show. We're having a good time, aren't we? I'm having a good well, time. Well, we it just started, right? So we don't know if the good time is had yet. All right. Well, it's kind of good. We're in, your, we're in your house, we're in your cave, your little rabbit, what's it called? A well, warren. warren to my humble abode. Yes, yeah, so thank you. It's nice to see you. You look good. I know. I've been working out. Well, thank you. Oh, why did I say thank you? <laughs> I'm glad you've been working. How you're looking well as well. You're magical today. Oh, thank you. So here's the way I see it, Beth. Are, are you here? Mm -hmm. You're listening. I am listening. Okay, so Rabbit Ears News. You were the host, right? You're the host the whole time. You had a good time. I figure this this one's mine. I'm the host of this one. What do you think? No. What do you mean, no? Well, the news segment was so good. You're going to mess with perfection? Well, I just like, what do you think? I don't know. What do you think? There's should I be the host? Should here. Should you be the host? What do you think? You you inter is interested in hosting? I, I believe in, uh, like, uh, equality and working together, collaboration. So nobody's the boss? Yeah. No, Beth doesn't agree with you. <laughs> Okay, well, tell us about what's going on over here with this very, very cool TV. Is this is this part of your rabbit cave? Uh, yeah. Right so, now, we're gonna watch the Adventures of Sydney and Truffles. Right now. One. Right now. I'm so excited. Let's right. check it out. Adventures of Sydney and Truffles, Episode 1. Hey, Truffles! It sure is nice out here. It's exciting to be out of the city. I don't know. I miss chasing the mail carrier and stuff. But it is a pretty great new house we moved to. Yeah. I kind of just wish we were closer to the other houses. There's no kids or anyone at all to play with. Not for many miles. That is true. Hey, Sydney. Yeah, Truffles? Shouldn't we head back soon? I don't want your dad to get worried about us, and it is starting to get dark out. Okay, Truffles. I just want to see what's over the next hill. Then we'll head back. Sydney and Truffle walks over to the next hill, but we're soon met with a blinding and bright light. Truffles! Where is that light even coming from? I don't know, but I'm starting to feel funny. I feel it too. Like something's pulling on us! Sydney! Look up there! And when Sydney and Truffles looked up, what they saw was like nothing they had ever seen before. Truffles! Is that a... a... a spaceship?! I've never actually seen a spaceship before, but I would think it would very much look like that. So yes, a spaceship it is! Suddenly, from up above, they heard a booming voice. Are you Sydney and Truffles the dog? Yes, I am Sydney, and this is Truffles. Maybe you should have told him we were someone else. Well, I'm not going to start lying to this voice. I just met it. How rude. Excellent. We have come halfway across the galaxy to find you. Find us? Why us? It has been foretold in our ancient prophecies that Sydney and his dog Truffles would come and help the cheese. 
people from the planet Chi. Is that you? That's us. Now, prepare to be transported. But, 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 my dad will be super worried if we just go missing. No worries. I will email him tonight and let him know all about what's happening. Sounds good. Let's roll. Let's roll? What about Stranger Danger, girl? Hmm. You got a point there, Sid. It looks like it's too late now anyway. And Sydney and Chuckles disappeared into the spaceship above and zoomed off into the depths of space. Okay, welcome back. That was... What do you think, Sydney and Truffles? Pretty good. I think it was pretty good. I am intrigued by this new adventure that we are going on with our friends Sydney and Truffles. What do you think? Yeah, you're in agreement. So here's the thing. I feel like singing a song. It's um, Down by the Bay is the name of the song. Are you interested in this? <laughs> That's like my favorite song. Do you know this song? I do know it's this It's a good song. song. How does it go? Down by the bay, where the water mounds grow, back to my home, I dare not go, for if I do, my mother will say, did you, what, Beth, anybody, did you, ever see, ever see a goose kissing a moose, you guys have got to figure out Down by the Bay. Down by the bay. bay Where the water mounds grow Back to my home I dare not go For if I do My mother will say Did you ever see a llama Wearing polka dot pajamas? What do you think? I'm serious Down by the bay Everybody now Everybody sing along Down by the bay Where the water mounds grow Back to my home, I dare not go, for if I do, my mother will say, did you ever see a whale with a green and purple tail? Did you? I've seen that. You saw that once? Yeah. Cool. Down by the bay. Hit one more. Okay, we gotta think of a really funny one. It's up to you. Come on, Miss Magic. Come on, Magic. When they start the magic, you remember the magic. <laughs> Down by the bay, where the water mountains grow. Back to my home. Come on, sing it, Beth. I dare not go. For if I do, my mother will say, Have you ever seen a bear? Oh, never. You okay? I thought I thought you gave up. Go ahead. Have you ever seen a bear? No. Or have you? Okay, you go. Have you ever seen a? Have you ever seen a taxi driver who can drive a taxi that goes underground into a rabbit warren? What? Down by the bay. That was an excellent song, and I think between the three of us, we nailed it. I think we are fantastic human beings and rabbits. It's nice to see you. You're looking good, Beth. Thank you. Would you like to shake my hand? I would. Thank you. Thank Thank you. Good You're looking well. You. You're looking beautiful as well. Okay, um, what's up next, Beth? What do you say? Uh, well, next we have Hank's Letter Stories, Episode A. Hank's Letter Stories, Episode A? A. A. <laughs> this is a story about the letter A. Alex the alligator ate an apple. Unfortunately, the apple was Annette's. Annette was an ant who liked to do art. Why did you eat my apple, Alex? asked Annette. Alex didn't have an answer, but he still apologized. Is there anything I can do to show my appreciation for the apple? If you could help me with my art, that would be amazing. 
And Alex helped Annette with her art by any means possible. The end. Well, there you go. Julia Animation. She is very talented, young Julia is. So what's happening next, uh, Miss Magic? Oh, I think I can... I think a letter has magically appeared. Would Where? you like to yes. see it? Yes, show us. It's under my hat. <gasps> okay, open up this letter. we got to figure out what's happening here. Okay, what is the letter? I think this question is for Beth. What is the biggest carrot ever in the world? And it's from Sophie. Well, Sophie, one time I ate a carrot. That was as big as Canada. <laughs> it's a huge carrot. It was really big. I was full for like an hour. Wow. That's impressive. Thank you. And who was that from? That was Sophie. from Sophie. Sophie, lovely. Sophie, I hope that fantastic answer helps you out in your studies or whatever you needed to figure that out for. I mean, if not, like I can tell you the biggest recorded, but it wasn't as big as the one that had. Oh, what's the biggest recorded carrot? The biggest recorded carrot was nine foot two inches, grown by Joe Atherton in Somerset in the UK. But that's not as big as Canada, so they're obviously, you know, like as far as carrot experts, I'm not going to go with, you know, the internet. I'm going to go with you, Beth. That's true. Yeah. Nine feet is nothing compared to your carrot, my friend. True. I could eat a nine foot carrot in like two seconds. Excellent. So what, what's next on the agenda of excellence? Well, next up, we get to hear from the Thoughtful Dodo, and then Pun Pun the Goat and Dave. Yay! Let's check it out. I feel like if me and my friends could live in pumpkins, we would save a lot of money on pumpkin pie. Pun, pun and Dave, pun, pun and Dave, pun, pun and Dave, pun, pun and Dave. Pun, pun's a goat and Dave's a kind of fish man. Like to hang out and have a lot of fun. It's so good to see you again. Where have you been, my friend? Oh, just doing the same usual stuff. I was, I was hanging out with my friend, Jill. Oh yeah, Jill? What kind of a friend is she? Well, she's a really tall friend. Oh yeah, she's a tall lady, eh? Yeah, I kind of really look up to my tall friends. Pun Pun the Goat is such a beautiful man and and goat and Dave is a fish person and I love him. Me too. Yeah, they're like very clever dudes. They're very clever dudes. Oh my goodness. So have you come up with a conclusion for if it is my show or your show? Because well, I still think it's my show. See, I had the conclusion from the very beginning. Oh yeah? What was that? I am Bowser. Magic. This is up to you. You have to flip an imaginary, invisible, thought-propelled coin to figure out who is the actual host. Go! Yippee! But she hasn't finished yet! It's still flipping. Still flipping. 
Okay, who's the host? Read it for yourself. I, well, it's invisible. Only you can see because you're magic. Oh, um, it landed on the edge. What does that mean? Everybody's the host? Yeah, I think it means everybody's the host. Oh, my goodness. But the show is called Bet the Bunny. No, it's not. It's, I what? mean, rabbit ears. <laughs> well, and you don't have rabbit ears. It's not called, not called man ears. <laughs> <laughs> it's not called man ears. It's not called mayonnaise either, you know. It's not called mayonnaise. It's not called mayonnaise. Hi. <laughs> I guess that's the end of the show, though. Okay. So thank you everybody for coming to see our show today. Uh, the first episode. I think it was a, a home run, a hit. It was a. What do you think, Beth? I think I knocked it out of the park. Yes, you did. Thank you for watching Rabbit Ears this week. And as always, remember, there are more than 1,000 different kinds of bats in the whole world. Bats? Bats. I wonder if Batman is one of them. I guess so. Out of all the thousand, I would think so. Bye, everybody. See you next time. So, um, tell me, what is your name? Alila. My name? Do you know my name? Sydney. Yes, my name is Sydney, and I am your friend. I am a very nice Sydney. Um, I was just wondering, what do you think makes you happy? Um, I like to play. You like to play? What kind of games do you play? I play, I play Sydney. <laughs> you play Sydney games? Yeah. That's actually my favorite game. <laughs>